I started playing floorball when I was eight or nine years old. Um, we had a couple of parents in my hometown who actually were playing at the highest division uh, in floorball here in Sweden. Uh, so they uh, int introduced us kids to the sport uh, as well and uh, yeah, the rest is history. What made me fall in love with the floorball was uh, first of all the, the speed of the game and also the technical part. Uh, and that's something that uh, I'm still in love with and, uh, and that's what's uh, kept me playing all these years. And uh, an obstacle in my uh, floorball life has been how to handle my nerves. Uh, when I was younger I got really nervous when, uh, when there was a lot of audience and stuff like that and important games. But um, after a few years <laughs> with bad nerves I, uh, I got in, in contact with a mental coach uh, and he helped me. I control, control myself in these situations and um, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why I got this far uh, in my career. Some people that have meant a lot for my floorboard career um, has been first of all my, my parents and family. They always supported me and uh, always uh, watching my games and giving me feedback afterwards and stuff like that and uh, yeah so that they are one of the biggest reasons why, why I'm playing and, and um, yeah, uh, the support is what's keeping me going uh, most of the time. Uh, and also my coaches throughout the years has been um, a big impact in my development, but I think the biggest part uh, is the teammates throughout the years. Uh, I've played with a lot of extremely good players and uh, when you train with with uh, all these good players uh, almost every day and uh, you, you watch them play and you try to copy some things that they are good at and uh, you, yeah, it's, uh, you always develop when you, when you have great players around you and uh, I think that's, that's my, the biggest part in, in my development in my, in my career. The biggest highlight in my career so far uh, it's definitely the um, World Cup uh, last year in, in Helsinki. Uh, the fact that uh, we was able to win the gold medal and uh, for me it was my first one. I uh, have been playing two World Cup before that and, uh, and uh, lost against Finland in the final. So uh, to finally be able to, to beat them and uh, at their at their home, uh, home arena and everything uh, makes it more more special. It uh, was a great game, and um, yeah, the luck fell on our side this time, so it was good. An average week for me during the season, uh, I would say, is uh, five to six uh, full ball practices or games uh, during the week. Um, that depends during the season on if we have one or two games uh, in one week, but uh, at least I'm playing floorball five times a week, I would say. And, uh, uh, and also this uh, physical trainings as well. When I don't play floorball, I'm studying electrical engineering uh, here in Uppsala. Um, and uh, when I'm not having any homework or any floorball training, um, I like to hang out with friends and, and do stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm quite into cooking as well, so um, a nice meal with, with friends, it's always, always <laughs> the best times. Um, and at the summer times, uh, you would probably find me at the, at the golf course, I think. Floorball is uh, one of the biggest sports uh, here in Sweden. And I think almost everyone under the age of 50 have tried playing floorball at least uh, once in their life. So it's, uh, it's an it's a big sport here in Sweden. I'm not sure of the exact stats, but I think that almost every city in Sweden at least has uh, one uh, floorball team. So yeah, that says a lot, I think. The World Games is important for floorball uh, because it helps the sports to grow uh, and spread to, um, to other countries. Uh, with the World Games, uh, new people are able to to watch the sport live, uh, maybe for the first time, and uh, uh, it's way different to 
to see a game live instead of TV. Uh, so I think for all the people who haven't watched floorball before to see uh, well, the top athletes uh, in the world compete uh, live, uh, I think that will inspire uh, to maybe and hopefully uh, that the, the the people watching will pick up floorball as, as well and uh, and fall in love with it. Floorball at the World Games in the U.S. will be something to to remember because um, first of all, it's the first time for the big nations to to come and play in the U.S. Um, and uh, it's a big title as well for for the national team to to fight for so um i will i would reckon that it will be uh, quite intense games and uh, that uh, it's something you you don't want to to miss out on um, and for us in sweden we are region champions uh, in the world games so um and we we don't want to to have anything else than a gold medal these times as well. So um, uh, I, I know that we in Sweden are really pumped up for this this tournament, and I reckon that the other nations is is that as well. My only experience of the U.S. is uh, through movies and TV shows. Uh, so it would be fun visiting now for myself and. Uh, experience the country in first hand uh, so i'm really excited and uh, looking forward to it my advice to all the young kids out there who want to play in the world games in the future is um, to play as many sports as you can uh, for as long as you can uh, and uh, remember to have fun as well while you're doing it uh, this makes everything much more easier and i think that's the recipe of uh, of a long career and uh, hopefully a successful one as well. <laughs>